Hello, my souls, and welcome back to Sable. Also, once again, Claire, this is your fault. Uh, let me take a look. Just look at the look at the screen. Keg. No. Hey Claire. Oh. Give me a second. Hey Claire, I'm gonna point at something on the screen really quick. Just one second. Oh, I see it. What am I looking at? Sun's chest. Gives a whole Aiden's new meaning to chesticles. Dinosaur. Gives a whole new meaning to <laughs> chesticles. <laughs> I and heard now, that. I am a unicorn. Hey, Kit, you know what I yes. really want in the Thorian right now? I really want a chum in a Thorian. That would have a whole different meaning. So, I could, like, these, one of these tiny creatures just to, just to have as a friend. That whenever you startle it, it plants its face into the ground and shits an egg. <laughs> no, I just plants it. <laughs> so it's an avian. And that's a dick gone <laughs> flying. Also, hello everybody. Hello Isaac. Hello Andy. Hello, uh, Alex. Um, num faces. We are. So, what are the plans for today, Kit? Well, I'm going to bring the ch uh, the tween her checks. Maybe attempt to best the seven sisters a couple times. And make our choice. Make my choice. Are, are you gonna finish off that quest that you still have active? Oh, that's right. That would be... Where was it? You have to go to some mechanist. Yes, but which area was she near? I have no clue. I don't even know which one it is right now. That should tell me. Mysterious Shrine. Magnus Fur. Huh? That's the name of the Magnus Fur, like the tree. Yeah, I can't even remember what name I gave to Fur. What voice you gave to Fur? What voice I gave to Fur, yeah. I like the idea, it's like, I don't like your name, I'm giving you a new one. I actually knew somebody who had that mentality, it's just, I don't like your name. You need a different one. You need a new one. 
Um nom nom the Isaac knows. Nom. I pick up the otter and carry him somewhere else. On seeing me for all but leaps the excitement. Fable have been waiting for you. I decoded the final inscription. I really don't remember what fucking voice I gave this person, by the way. Neither do I. Oh well. We were right! It was a game! A race! And you completed it exactly as intended! Do you know what that means? I won. Oh, you definitely won! Oh, I won more accurately than I won! <laughs> it barely registered with me that she used the name Samoon, despite never being introduced, and I don't get a chance to bring it up before she's gone on. There is a prize! A real one! Once you complete the race, the pillars reveal the next text. Translate the text and you get... Make parts incredible ones, older in the design than any I've ever seen, but perfectly elegant. You must try them, Sable, you must. <sighs> I can fit the parts onto your bike if you'd like to ride it now. Okay, let's take a look. <sighs> Who am I hearing making sweet sloppy love to their food? I'm not eating anything. What are you talking about? We can hear your lips. I'm not eating anything. Weird. This is blank! Her shakes her head and shrugs, but... It gets in, uh, but it's in a nice way. The way you do something so grand and so beautiful and uh, uh, beautifully awe-inspiring. It's covered the text I can't read! <laughs> Excuse me. The grand so beautiful, uh, beautifully awe-inspiring that you can't help but feel small and sort of casually less, uh, sort of casually unless it's, uh, useless in its shadow. This bag is wonderful. I tell her I agree and thank her for the opportunity to ride in, in an ancient race. I also explain that it said that in playing their old game I felt more connected to the past than I uh, did hearing the drier bits of history. That's great, I mean. I mean it, that's uh. I don't know if I'm just a romantic or something, but I always have a, such a hard time connecting to the past without connecting. Strange for a mechanist to do. I think about it, I suppose it's a strange for a mechanist somehow, but I find it comforting too. It really is, there is really, really is room for all kinds behind all masks. I want you to keep the bike and bring it into a new era. Let us see how the world changed while it was sleeping. Oh, I don't ride much myself nowadays, but he's in good hands of you. And I get to be a smug around with a mechanist. When it's all the reward I need. Or which is all the reward I need. <gasps> I think for her skill and generosity in it all. <laughs> I put her on drugs. I swear to God. Hey guys, I'm gonna leave the party. Reinvite me. Okay. Okay. Oh, hold on.
What was that laugh? Don't ask. Ow, I need a drink. Hold on. Hey, Johnson. Andy. Also, Andy, I think you need an O where the U was because you were fishing to an udder. Or you're trying to feed fish to an udder. I don't think cow nipples do that very well. Oh, what the ass! It's wide. <coughs> Sorry, Crimson, I can't join your party right now. I am still kind of working. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, fix my micro sensitive mic sensitivity issue because it may have been picking up just my phone in general too. <laughs> this is fucking pretty. By the way, let's go meet the tween, shall we? It sounds like a depressed Roomba. So Marvin the depressed Roomba? No, just in general, it sounds like a depressed Roomba. I don't get it. How can a okay. Roomba de be depressed? <laughs> it's just, it, it's hard to explain. Oh, I it's get what you mean, I'm just being weird. I know, so am I. It, it, it's a thing. It's hard to explain, man. It's hard to explain that thing's getting weird. I love the sound this thing makes. Just... Yeah, that's all my micro sensitivity issue. Huh? Me hang because I think the Xbox app doesn't know when to transition from phone to um wireless ear earbuds properly. That wine, though, is going to make my brain hurt. By the way, I have paid for two of these. Maze. Uh, two, of, two of what? Hits from my, pi from my pipe preemptively. And Isaac, you make me blush. <coughs> Isaac, you should work harder to make him blush. You should save that material for a moment. If I ever go to... Isaac, you're from California, right? Hey, by the way, hey, Burb. Yes. I greet the queen chum. Queen asked me if I have the eggs for liver eggs. You bunny, you're our champion. 
I feel excitement and pride well up inside me. Thank the queen profusely and celebrate my new acquisition. Oh my god. A gift from the queen of shams, this max mask reacts with a regular switch shell that hasn't been found yet. Oh yeah. Or I am shem. That's why I stopped. No worries, no, it's fine. I will no. give you a chance to breathe before I start doing the <laughs> again. <laughs> downstairs I can't be too loud <laughs> I'm not trying to make you die giggling but it's gonna get you to die giggling I'm fairly certain <laughs> because hold on I wonder if you can choose that master glidening oh god I hope so 
Oh, Christ. You know, I have a feeling there's going to be a check outfit, too, if you get all the check eggs. Probably. If there is, I will let you guys know, because I will probably, you know, come back and try to get it. <clears throat> but you know what? I want to try to best the sisters first. Hey Isaac, have you ever been to BLFC? gonna make this one so the ultimate question is can you climb the seven sisters the answer is no I also didn't start on the ideal sister I have to start on the ideal sister question if Burp was to go would you go Isaac I mean, that would be a hell of a meeting. I love him out the jump for the train. Oh, and one of my friends is diving to have the call about a removed kit. Yeah. Oh my Good god. Job. Personal best. Personal best. Good thing you got all that stamina. Oh god, yeah. Which one's the next one? I'm thinking that one. No, 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 no. Are you fucking kidding me? Completely ungrabbable. That was apparently a completely ungrabbable area of rock. Like, that whole pillar is ungrabbable. That's uh, bullshit. Why is it sometimes just flat out ungrabbable? That is stupid as shit. There's a thought, though. Possibly another way to do it, too.
What the fuck was that? Like it tried to leap backwards. Dad, then. What I think I'm doing at the moment is probably a rare achievement challenge. Okay. I only have one thing to say that's what you just said. What? Numb face. Numb face. Why would it piss people off for you to go there, Isaac? That's how you have to climb this bitch. Personal bests. Oh, my God. Oh my god! It's wiggling! There's a chum egg nearby. There's a chug nearby. There is a chug nearby. Why did you have to say chomlet? Chosen, or the train. 
Okay, get back up here, down. Don't chugs and chum. Yeah. <laughs> chug salad! Yay! No. <laughs> That's what happens when all the chugs decide to fuck. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Is that to make you gooey, baby? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God, a new best. Not just a new best. The best! Question, where's the check? How did the check get up here? I have no fucking idea! Yeah. Oh my god. And no, I uh, no, Aki, that would be more like the check got fried and then sat in the rice. Hey, I just realized all my Kickstarters I, that are currently out come out next year. Hmm. So you can get, like, estimated delivery date for them is hmm. February, February, March. What's this new one? So, February, February, March. May, July, September. <clears throat> yeah. Not bad. Okay. One got one what got moved back a total of I think there's September it got moved back from September this year to July of next year. By the way. I love that. It's Jefferson Airplane. I know the song. <laughs> no, Ivan in the chug bunks. <laughs> now I'm picturing. Now I'm picturing three chugs in your campaign, just going around singing songs. Hey, boom, jay, boom, tambourine. 
it, I would love to see you just have three traveling musician chums. Hey, Aki, what would you do if I, uh, just randomly sent you a plush check? <laughs> like, what would you do if I just randomly sent you a check, plushie? Uh, I mean, other than the obvious say thank you. <laughs> I don't know if they exist or not. I was actually contemplating what would it take to make a Chegg plush. Remember that coworker I told you about? Yeah. Hey, yeah, they could probably do it pretty easily. Yes, they. Can. Yes, she probably could. I already got this Chegg. <laughs> you have been checked on. Check! I think it's more of a worm than ant worm with answers on the slug. We. <clears throat> and those are antlers. Those are more feelers than anything. Yeah. Hold on. What outfit should I really be wearing? Because this looks fucking weird. Oh! My god, no! Antlers don't go weeble, weeble, weeble. Weeboo, weeboo, weeboo! <laughs> I am I the all powerful Schweg! The whale, uh, the check, uh, the check whale, or the chail wag. Chail wag? Chail wag. Feel free to put that in out of context if you could spell that. Oh, yeah, no, Aki. Uh, edibles are a different kind of high altogether. If you're smoking it, you're getting a different kind of high than you would get if you're eating it, or... Well. There's a couple other it's... ways to take it, but don't do that. There's a difference in how your body metabolizes it, right? Yeah. It metabolizes it really, really weird when you decide to absorb it through the skin of your ass. Well, more accurately, the skin of your intestines. And yes, THC lube exists. I want to try it. Of course you do! Who else but Claire? Of course, of course, you want a horse. Oh. What's up, Claire? I mean, I'm willing to take a chance. Take a chance, do a dance. Get down tonight. No, get ants in your pants, get down tonight. <laughs> Why does everything like sound like a 16-bit era game? Pardon me, I'm not high enough for this. Excuse me. Wait, hold on. I gotta check something. Hey, Kit, would you like a, would you like your daily would you like a daily Yiddish lesson? What? I know. Would you like to know what "Ants in Your Pants" in Yiddish is? Ah. Uh. 
Felcus. Okay. There's a word for ancient your pants in Yiddish. That, that's not the plural translation. I don't remember what that was. My grandfather's not with us anymore to tell me what it means. And Yiddish is a pretty much almost dead language anyway, so... There's only one phrase I really remember, and it's not something you should say to people. By the way, Alex! We have the mask of the Chegg! Envisioning a full because kid, it just the, the irony of somebody like you making a high pitched voice. You know, it's even weirder. I'm talking about I can't do that with a straight face anymore. Fuck. Started moving again. Apparently, there are checks in here that you haven't found yet. Actually, no. Frost is a real person. Yeah. And understand, I can't actually go that high very easily. Me doing that shredded the shit out of my vocal cords just a little. <laughs> you notice I had to go extremely loud to do it. Hey, look. All three lights are on. Yeah, I know. I've already got the thing. And you mean all six lights. Oh, I thought they hey. were... There are checks here. No, um, like I said, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, I did make Frost the suit. I had nothing to do with the person, though. Ugh. He's just him. It's really, there's really no other way to explain it. Anyways. Hey guys. Yes. Yeah. What do you guys want to go see? I'd say we got about 10, 15 more minutes of just wandering around and enjoying the world. What do you guys want to see? I, do you mind me telling you how to get that get the hidden achievement? What hidden achievement? There's a hidden achievement in the game. Uh what sure? Right, 
Go to the one by the wash. Go to the what? The worm. Okay. Do I have to do the worm? Now what? Climb inside its mouth. Yeah, I just noticed there's a thing up there. I can't believe I didn't see that when I was up there last time. Just want to hear more of my fucking weird ass voices. <laughs> okay. I There's swear to God, I've got to start making like just random voices just random characters that don't exist. Just create an entire Good. universe of voice have voice to have voiceover characters with no bodies. How often Alex, do you use that is, word? This is how this is how typically people realize they have an addiction to something. Thanks, I hate the idea, brain. Hey, guys. I have a great idea for a paid series. Like, fucking patrons-only series kind of thing. Would you like to know the terrible idea my brain just had? What mm -hmm. is it? Furry porn comics in the stylings of Kermit and his friends. <laughs> That is a bad idea. I don't know, it would be kind of funny if you never know what it would sound like if Kermit just had suddenly started to... Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, right there. I think Miss Piggy would know what that sounds like, but that's just my guess. I mean, they don't call her Pegging Piggy for nothing! <laughs> And you're welcome, I just single-handedly destroyed a child, a generation of childhoods. This isn't, well, it started before, it, this is, that's a boomer's childhood you're worrying, so it, I don't care. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Apparently Alex okay. wants to animate this. Oh, God, no. Just imagine the adventures of sea salt, but as a horny Kermit. No, yes, no. <clears throat> oh, but why not? Oh my God! It has a it has a fucking mouth. I'm standing in its throat. And playing with its burbly thing. There's a Chegg here. Now here's the next part, Kit. Yeah. The Wait, worn they gotta open them. Pages left in the small encampment. Not something I expect to find up here, and far too tempting to ignore. Here I am. You told me to look uh, to. Uh, Peresta, when I had lost it all, and here I am with nothing and no one. 
alone at the end of all my failures. I will sit and think for a while. Perhaps something will come to me. Otherwise, I look to fall. Anna, I know you won't want to hear me, but I have to tell you. Uh, Pirasta spoke to me. In a voice like rolling thunder. And large and late evening shivers. He shook my bones and told me there's more to this than I know. And that I must look inside the statue. I have no way inside, but I will find you. When I, oh, where I am bidden to go by Perasta's whim. Here I will walk in the great shadow. Hmm? Ready for the next step, Kit? And I climb down the stairs. Hmm. What's up? Are you ready for summon your bike? Don't leave the area, just summon your bike here. Like standing in the throat? Yep. Oh, I'm okay. Call no call for it. No, he's standing near one of the tubes. Oh, like one of those so little, whistle one into of those, its face. No, the tubes, like the little dongly things on the side. Yes, whistle into its face. <laughs> Like a motherfucker! Holy dick fuck! Jesus slimy ass! Holy fuck! There's more writing inside this animal! Why is it a butthole? It's a butthole! It's a butthole! Why is it a butthole? It's gonna puke! Let me get into this thing. Hold on, I might be safe in here. Why do you have a butthole in your throat? Eh. Or written notes. It seems they managed to get inside too. Eh, I'm inside. I got inside, and I see now that this gasping darkness is why Peresta uh, beckons me. There is a secret here. She wishes me to know. And it is so much more than I ever imagined. This place, this creature, she is alive. She's alive. And the way that you and I know, but this is the way it's slow and aged things, breathing and thriving in a place invisible to those who live as quickly and as briefly as us. <laughs> like a wise old tree or a map of mushrooms below the earth. Living and decaying all at once for centuries. She is alive! Alive, I tell you! I think I can press on and go further in. I don't know if I can return in this way, the way I came, but so few stories are told of those who walk back along their own footsteps. I will find a way through to the other side! I will become worm shit! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I can't resist. Holy fuck. Thanks, man. There are a few scraps made unreadable by wear, but I find a letter entry that is just about illegible. And it takes several, I mean, several reads and a few misslips to sort out. The word gurgling stops me for a moment. I see it as, a, is it as a giggling or griddling. Grinding before it makes sense. <laughs> I have been camped here for a few days now, Anna, and it's warm in here, and the air is old now. 
but there's a nice salt in it. Oh! <laughs> there's a nice salt in it, too! My skin feels better inside this place than on the unforgiving view. In my explanations, I have dropped so many important things down into the, uh, into Perasta. Perasta, yeah. Rock, small and large, and a beetle, I wonder. Can I descend further and grow below myself? The voice of Perasta calls to me, but she is drowned down by the noise of rushing water and deep, resonating gurgling. It all seems more and more. The wine scribbled over whatever was written next to it, and then it resumes. When if I go to Toulouse, I will leap into the darkness. If I don't return, then no, I love you, Anna. Changs in here! Aki, did you know about this? I didn't think I'd be swimming inside of a worm bottle! <laughs> Why am I swimming in a worm bottle? <laughs> Why is there a swing in a worm bottle? <laughs> Why is there a pulley system in a worm bottle? <laughs> Please tell me I can't climb the squishy bits. I can climb the squishy bits. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to pay for another hit because I'm taking another hit. Hold on. I I can't do this without being stoned. I'm not as thick as you don't. I'm not as thick as you fucked I am. <laughs> I don't regret making you do this, kid. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, hold on. It, this was worth it. Burb. All I can say to the- God damn it, why is it undulating? <laughs> I can't be at its butthole already. <laughs> I just barely got to the stomach. I still have the intestines to wiggle my way through. I want to be a proper parasite. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be able to take the fucking hit. Can I do this? Oh, only one, okay. Why do you make that noise? I am being snuggled by an otter. It feels nice. I can say this, this is the best episode for the finale. This is the best for the finale. Oh, 
come here. I need to get out of your juices so I can get in your juices. Fuck you. I almost didn't make it into its hole. What have you done, Burb? I've done nothing. You have done everything. There is more fucking text. He's a damp I and the mold. Okay, the piece piece is damp and mold creeps at its edges. I saw in the blur of the wall the thing spin past me. What secrets I have heard in the whispers of the rushing wind. Oh my god, it's like I'm inside a bubble! Ah. Ah. If you could only know, if you could only see the way my bubble! <laughs> I couldn't finish that! I couldn't finish that one! I was trying to say, if you can only see the way my butthole weeps. <laughs> go I'm going to need to pee. Oh god, how the fuck? Wait, ow, that was a sober experience. What the hell did I just do? Ow. Oh, I rubbed my leg and then rubbed my eye. Fuck, that explains that pain. Fuck. <laughs> I have icy hot on my leg. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably going a little bit late tonight. This area might take a little while. Ugh. You're welcome, guys. I regret nothing. Claire? Yes? You've been awfully quiet. What's your thoughts on this? She's trying not to die. <sighs> hey, Claire. What? Are you too sober? Why did the gurgling suddenly get louder? Hold on. Hey, Kit, do you have the guard mask or no? No. But for us, this place is not for all new here. You can only hear it if you know how to put your ear to a butthole. At the end of my fall, I found myself in a new world, and I have lived in this place for heaven day now. I is now why she calls to me. She is gone, but she is crying for help. Her butthole weeps. <laughs> I am, in every sense of this phrase, going to hell. <laughs> no, you're just pouring colonoscopy. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, Burb! <laughs> oh, right, I have to shove a thingy through a hole and then get a hole in a thingy. You! Hey. Dick waffle. I 
think you have to throw it in there, kid. Open. What did open then? Hold on. Yes, Aki? I think there is a reason it gives me four testicles. You're a red herring, you greasy shit fuck! <sighs> Gaping buttons. I'm I'm trying not to, Aki. I swear to God, I'm not trying to make your head hurt. I am just having too much fun with all of this because I am inside a giant worm's intestinal tract. I found another excerpt from the diary. And, uh, I live it is a sorry life. I've lost a voice down here. And now it's only dampness and rot in the silence. A single drip at the end of a tunnel, it's like... Stops abruptly halfway through his sentence and when it resumes, the script appears haste, hastier than it's ever, ever has. And you will not believe it, oh my love, my dearest one! There was a secret in his when I'm lost that she finds me, Anna. For what is for us but a help from those in need? What a fool I am. How stupid. Ah, I cried and he gave up, but not just it. I know what she wants. She is so 
This is starting to feel a little bit like an SCP. That's a freeze. I don't even get to see what is in that sphincter, do I? Fuck you. I think you can, but... some other kind of meaning in this area because it's getting weird and apparently there's a secret! <laughs> Is the secret inside your juices? Oh my god, you can see that now. Well, I'm 100% inside a worm butthole. Are you happy that I pointed this out? I don't know if happy is the right word because I am inside of a worm butthole, but kinda yeah. It's more lore for the game. Yes, but it's lore inside of a worm butthole. <laughs> It feels a little bit chunky in some ways, you know? In a good way or a bad way? Yes! <sighs> I am literally making it fart! Give me what I have. Eh, I got inside of its hole. not the word I should have used for that particular descriptor. Yes. Oh my gosh! I'm inside a thing! There we go! New note written in a shaky, childlike script. My heart goes cold at sight of it. I have seen something too vulnerable and cannot help. Those other camels were not enough for us, though. 
on the morning you need I'm giving you my all and still you ask for me Oh, you are beautiful and exquisite God but you are also a needful and tricky one I'm catching wise to your true meaning my I will give you what you ask with abandonment uh, and hurt. joy. Huh? My hands hurt. Your hands hurt? Mm. What have you been doing while I've been making these voices? Racing. That explains it. I will give you my own wisdom. Everything! <laughs> oh god damn it, it fell into the juices. I swear to God, every time I'm making this thing's butthole twitch. You can practically smell that sound! Go take it with the other way. What? Through that tiny hole. I can... Okay, so this was the way I'm supposed to go. Okay, good to know. I want to see what happens if I take a uh, left at this particular thing over here. And decide to go to its lungs instead of its butthole. <laughs> There's two directions that I can go. I can either go that way... Yeah, you're a teenager as well. I would avoid, you know, trying to go and do anything like that. Yeah, we're probably going to go long on this one, guys. Be right back. Okay. We... Shove this meaty chunk into a hole! And then open that hole with your fist! 
I'm not gonna be able to god damn it it closed before I can get into the meaty bits. Well, this game has gone from... Well, actually, you know what? Thanks, Burb! This game has suddenly gotten this weird feeling from a game that I played a while back. You'll never guess what the fuck it's called! One that went from being this weird gothic horror to suddenly, we're inside something's butthole! Where are you going, kid? I don't know. I want to see. Oh, damn it, I dropped it. I threw it into its juices. Why did I throw it? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you all. Shove a meaty chunk into the thing's thingy and the thingy's thingy. Oh my god, it's... It's a trap! A trap. Damn it. to see the path to use the other pool. I'm aware. that right there as an option. By the way, Aki, you are adorable. I just wanted to point that out there. Also, some random furry animators. Hello? Or animations, rather. Hello. I just noticed him. Hello, new friend. Treasure chamber, one was 
something else. I just found the treasure chamber. Now I'm gonna go look for what the other. Uh, now I'm gonna go look into what the other one was. Probably the way forward. Probably, yeah. It is the approach of the butthole! Oh! I don't think I want to drink from a worm butthole. No, let's not. Slurm is not a good drink. I appreciate the reference. What in the absolute fuck is in this worm butthole? Excuse you! It's just fine. You, you made a shrine to this thing's body, inside its body. What kind of depravity is this? Is that a mask? I hope not! The shrine, if it can be called that, sends chills down my spine. I feel in the presence of something, but whatever it is, it's not, it's no god. There is something carved into a piece of wood and is read like an incantation. I will submerge myself, Eratus, in the depths of you, of my body, build yourself, that you might live anew. But the incantation sits a mask, repulsive and Garden. It looks to be made of from a baby sandworm. Teeth in the mouth of real. Dark as I listen, try to hear whatever the writer believed was. Uh, believed was uh, Paratus's voice. There is nothing. Take the mask. Take the mask. I hey, want kid, to look kid. around really quick. I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. I somehow wound up in the ovaries. Alright, let's see what this monstrosity looks like. Am I going to, like, climb up through its fucking ribcage? I don't know. Fuck! I think so! Why? Well, hold on. I have found juices. Why are there juices here? Those aren't juices I should be juicing. Hold on. <laughs> I want to search around just in case, because I have a feeling that using any of these is going to make this thing throw up. And I- Yep! Nope! I'm about to make this thing poo! <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh no... Bombs away!
Yes, yes we are. I need to make sure I don't miss anything from the deranged dude who is climbing through the worm butthole. I might be able to still find his his corpse. Although I might find his corpse as well after I get blown to chunky hell from the inside of this worm. Oh! Hey, guys! Mm. Yes? What was it called? The Central Splanknik Ganglion? And yes, this is another reference. I don't know what the throw your reference is, but oh well. The thing inside someone's butthole that if you tickle, they'll be they'd be lucky to have any bones left after the bowel movement it causes. That's it's a real a thing. No, it's a Futurama reference. Pelvic splanknik ganglion. That's what it's called. I'm to, to get luckily. turned into shit. Where are you? We're outside the worm. It's jingles. I didn't realize it was twitching like that. Hey, we got something that that massive rock too, by the way. Uh huh. It just dawned on me. The water that people are drinking in this world probably comes from a giant worm butthole. That's <laughs> a lot you just of it. That? Gross! I was expecting there to be a thing! I regret nothing. I was expecting there to be at least one more entry from the journal. I think that was the last entry, him making the shrine. Oh? Uh? I think that was the last entry. I know, but still. Uh. I'm not wearing this head! Fuck you! IT'S A GIGANTIC WORM! Okay, so let's recap. I had to feed a worm its own testicles so it could belch me down- not belch me down, but squeeze me down and then belch me back up its ass as a giant puddle of water.
Hey, Claire. What? I'm about ready to live the rest of my life. How about you? Aki, question. Did you know that area existed? I'm ready to rev out. Oh! Now that you know that place exists, what do you think, Aki? I found something Aki didn't know about. That makes me proud. <coughs> the Abexi camp draws closer. The imagined threshold between home and the gliding is palpable. It reminds me of coming in from a sandstorm so fierce that the grains have wh uh, whipped through the air and through your clothes. You peel off the layers of sand between fabric and marvel at the dust on your skin. The bits that manage to get through despite every precaution. <clears throat> Though you feel so grateful to be home, so comforted by the safety of the indoors. You can't help but smile, nostalgic, as you wash the sand away. Whatever adventures <clears throat> you've had, it was only for you. <clears throat> or what adventures you had was only for you. Am I ready to choose my mask now? There's no going back if I do. <coughs> Each mask is an ending. Hey, Kit. Oh. Which mask do you think are you thinking about? I don't know. <coughs> oh, shit. My phone needs to charge. I'll tell you what mask I think works best for you personally. That's my opinion. Nope. I was going to say the nom face mask. I'm on your face. Nom nom nom. Nom. You should know by now I wasn't going to give you a serious answer. Derpy bird. I love every aspect of <sighs> each of them. That's the problem. Living in a world that is black and white, where you have to make this one choice, sucks. If I could vocalize all the things going through my head, I would, but there's a thousand different things running through my brain right now. And here's the thing. I have fun with every aspect of each of the masks. I love the idea of uh, spending the rest of my life challenging a new climb. But the problem with that is, what happens when you've done it all? get to change your mask or are you stuck with your best accomplishment never being able to be undone, undone is it? never being able to get better at anything
What's your view on the cartographer's mask kit? I mean, what do you expect? I love the idea of uh, wandering around trying to view the world from a way that people don't normally get to. But at the same time, I don't like the idea of... I don't like the idea of doing it by flying over everything. Seeing the world from above would be fun for a little while, but it would get boring. It would get lonely. <clears throat> I think a one positive used for the cartographer's mask. Hmm. Finding new water source. Kind of, yeah. That's the problem, though. Choosing a mask is... And this is one of the things I hate about games like this. And yes, we're going to be going a little late, by the way, guys. It's like choosing an identity. Yes, it is. And living in a world where your identity is as rigid as this, that's a terrifying idea. It's like asking if you can only ever do one thing for the rest of your life. What would you want to do? I mean, in the moment, you could answer it easily. What in that moment do you want to do for the rest of your life? How do you know that's what you're going to want to do 10, 12 years later? Oh, I forgot I had this in my, my game. What's that? I got the... I got the odd ones out Kickstarter. I forgot it came with the autograph, the one I bought. Nice. Let's do this. I'm ready. Am I really ready? No! I hate when games do this! No. I want to be sure if I do this. I'm very sure. Wait. Okay. So that gives me the option to essentially go back. Moon, what the hell? There's one last thing I want to fucking do before I do this.
what's that? think, Aki? Do you think you could choose one thing to do for the rest of your life? <laughs> I don't think I could. wanted to see really quick if there were other rings like that one down in here. That's always bugged me. That's always bugged me. Why would there only be one of those down here? Hello. Hello. My headphones popped out and popped on again, so they may be bugging out again. Oh. I mean, you seem fine. You don't, so I know something's weirding out. Night, Isaac. Num num.
Hello, Sable. Something I want to discuss with Driss. I want to relitigate the Shine Cutter incident. Estrus, once and for all. If on the fateful day of my gliding he'd actually forgotten to help out with my bike, and if the test ride on the sand cutter was a slime cover up, Cox his head. What are you talking about? <coughs> know what I'm talking about. I told Driss that he knows very well what I'm talking about. He shakes his head. No idea. I remember the whole bike thing going very smoothly. Plus, you took that sand cutter out and you didn't even get a little a uh, little bit on fire. Stuff. Thanks to that Driss's response. I suppose even the gliding cannot be answered. Uh, it can't cannot be the answer to all things. How's the clown been? Asterisk how it's been man uh, been managing the clown while I was gone. Yeah, because ever, which I think you should be pretty happy about. As Driss uh, Driss, why he thinks I would want that for him. Because it means it wasn't you! Of course it wasn't. In respect, I decide not to tell Driss that it may indeed be him who is at the heart of much chaos. Of much of the chaos. Uh, instead, I simply assert it's very clearly wasn't me. Well, you never know. You're still young, and youth usually comes with its share of chaos. Or at least it should. Anyhow, you're off the proverbial hook. Nice for me. Is inside. I told tell Driss I'm considering the scrapper mask and ask what he thinks about that. Scrapper mask, you really? I'll tell you, Sable, I wouldn't have pegged you for it, but you've always had quite the imagination, haven't you? More of an inner monologue. Yeah, well, I think that's a good trait for a scrapper. You need to be able to see the beauty in the scraps, you know? And that takes a very creative brain. I think a lot of folks see scrappers and think they're just rubbish pickers, you know. But if you can look at something old and dream up something new, and I think you got, and I think you've got it, and I should, and I'd support you every scrap of the way. God, damn it! Hey, technically, couldn't a scrapper go exploring well, as well? Yes. I thank Driss for his advice. Umar, who's Umar? I don't remember the last time I heard Umar speak. Maybe to yell a warning, but never to converse. And take, it takes me a moment to think of something to reply. And he essentially welcomed me back. How have you been? Mar shrugs slightly and then, hey, I think that's all I'm gonna get from him on that. Did you miss me? He missed a low grunt. That's what sounds like a chuckle, and I think that means he missed me. Hello. Oh, this was the guy. This was the guy that, uh... This was the guy that I wanted you to be here to voice, Aki. Because I don't know what kind of voice to give him, and if I don't know what voice to give him, means getting devolved to a permit. I need a description of a voice to give him. So, Aki, this is why I was saying I wanted you here. I want you to describe to me what you think his voice should sound like.
You were the one that vo uh, initially voiced it. Hello. Ah. If you need to describe them, I'm not good with names. You can also look at the screen. No, he meant the voice. Uh, the, the person whose voice is imagining. Also, whatever you do, don't say Yzma. Yzma. Because I'm fairly certain you wouldn't want to, me to go with, Oh, save it! <laughs> I didn't have somebody else's voice, Kit. I know. I'm fairly certain that was Drist, the person you need to talk to when you're finishing the game. I think that was her voice. You know what? That description just makes me think of Maru from fucking Balto 2. Sable, it's so good to have you home. I've thought about you so much, just imagining all the excitement. Every time, or every time we passed a cliffside, I thought I... I thought, I bet Sable's just hovering everywhere. What do you think of the climber's mask? Ask Halal what he thinks of the climber's mask. They light up straight away. Which I think I should have expected. Aki, I'm so glad that I didn't start his voice off after reading that second part. Because it would have sounded a lot different if I had. Every statement like a proverbial exclamation. That would have been a bad thing in my brain to let happen. A brilliant mask. There's a lot of really good masks, obviously, but climbing? If you ask me, the worst part of the gliding's end is losing the perpetual stone. To hover forever. To fear nothing. From heights or falls. That is the uncom it is an uncommon freedom. And you have to let it go. To me, climbing is the closest thing one gets to keeping that connection between oneself and the perpetual. Just as the stone does, banishes fear and risk. Let's you explore the world's great eight vertical spaces with knowledge and fortitude. I think it's a great mask, and probably would have been my choice had I not fallen so much in love with the Abexi. I thank you all for their thoughts. And again, for the stone they gave me so long ago. Have you heard of Lore the Fabulist? I ask you all if he's ever heard of Lore the Fabulist. Well, of course I have. Not much for travel. Not two years ago, I made a special trip to Ekria just to see her. Why? I tell Hilal I hey, met her out in the desert and that we spent a whole evening talking about life and poetry. And that I think I may have inspired some original work. That's amazing. So you think... Sorry, I'm so excited. 
Do you think it's possible that next time I see Lore, she might actually read a poem that you inspired? I say yes, that's quite yeah, that is quite possible. Now that lighting. Who cares what mask you choose? You got to hover around the world and you inspired Lore the Fabulous to write a new poem. If I were you, I'd put out uh put on my retirement mask. Because I'd be done. We laugh together, and it feels really, really good. Apparently there's no one else to talk to. Wait, hold on. Yes, there is. Hey, Claire, this is you. <laughs> this is the se the second voice you ever did, Ilaria, the child. The child? Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Sable. Strange how children change so much over such a short period. Laria has grown, but she'll always be a child to me. You've grown. Laria subconsciously stands a little taller and prouder as I say the words. Can't help but smile, remembering all the times adults would say, Oh, how you've grown to me as a child. Well, you've not grown at all. I haven't just grown. I'm way higher now. Oh, I just... Yeah, that was supposed to be one of your lines. Claire, it's up to you. Yeah, it's your up. Then. I haven't grown. I can just climb way higher now. Zeki oh. hates it. <laughs> it's great. <clears throat> Not all growth is external. I feel it feels like a hollow defensive statement, but it's also true. Elaria doesn't look convinced. <coughs> You're up. Asana will be leaving for her gliding soon, but at least you'll be back now. I don't have the heart to tell her that I might not stay with the Abexi, but there's still time to decide, so I hold back. Did a lot of climbing out there. Claire. Mm. Oh. There's the word. How Pelling. high did you go? <clears throat> hey, how high did you get? <laughs> You're did still you touch up. a cloud? <laughs> If I had a gliding stone, I would only touch a cloud. I reveal that I got the climbing mask. Larry seems to vibrate with excitement and jealousy. I can't. I can't believe it. You have to choose it.
<sighs> you will choose it, right? I mean, why wouldn't you? That would just be silly. <laughs> I don't think I'll get a word in here, so I just let it uh, effusively speak at me for a while, enjoying her passion for something so uh, particular. Being a climber is a pretty solitary existence for the most part, mostly foraging for things that grow in the higher climates, fixing or salvaging from ships in high places. But the sights you see, the places you get to, it'll be like continual gliding on dang gliding at times. I'd be comfortable at those heights without a gliding stone. Hey, it's Zeki! Claire, this is the first one you did. My child, welcome home. Same voice break as ever. Have you been taking care of yourself? You look rather bony. Are you well? Zeki fusses over me. He would always look for reasons to care for us. That's no good at all. We'll have to fix you up some of some of Jody's and let him steal. <laughs> I'm voluntarily salivating at the thought. It's good to be back. Where have you been? After you left, we headed to some old older Abexi campsites. Places we used to visit before you were born. Clampsites. Shut up. You're still up. Going back, it was beautiful. The land flourishes when you leave it for so long. Each place transformed with life and abundant with things for uh, to forge since we were last there. There. Once we leave the uh, Eler, we. We will not be coming back for a long time. It needs to recover from nourishing us. I might choose the entertainer mask. That's what the entertainer mask is. Dealing with kids. Oh, an entertainer's mask. I see you were kept busy with the young ones on your gliding, too. Everybody needs a little bit of uh, levity now and then. It's an important part of life, valued by many. But you know the Abexi are not in a position to accommodate such trifles. Fun and games are just that. If you pick this mask, you'll have to find a richer clan to join. We can't afford it. I hope you think carefully about what mask you choose, Sable. It's 
giving me more and more people to talk to. Sizzo. How do you do, clan child? Actually, wasn't Sizzo one of the ones that, uh... Ah, uh, keep voiced. No, who did Sizzo? I don't know. I don't know either. No. What about Samoon? How was your companion? This was Glide. Oh, apparently Claire voiced her. <coughs> Clever <coughs> fucker. How was your companion? I would have been lonely without someone. Of course, the desert can be such a desolate... <gasps> a desolate and sparse place. Traveling with a partner is the only way to keep the mind at peace. What will happen with Samoon now? Well, it's almost time for us on uh, Skylighting. Simone will be... Well, will likely accompany her across the dunes. Your pang of melancholy as I think about losing Simone. If the, it, it had to happen one day, and nobody truly owns a bike in Ebexing. But it merely accompanies by, uh, but is merely accompanied by one. I'm grateful to have at least had that blessing. I had a lot of your mechanist friends. I tell Sizo I met a lot of her mechanist friends on my travels. I knew this, and I hope they were good to you and to Simone. I tell her that I tell her they were, and she seems to take a bit of pride in that, which is rare to see in Sizzo. Some really have great, some really great mechanist up there. I like them a lot. Ah. I think I should choose the mechanist mask. Ask Sizza, er, ask if Sizza thinks I ought to choose the mechanist mask. Uh, that I might join her or she crosses her arms and takes time to think. Some will tell you that the life of a mechanist is lonely. It isn't, and only because we are assigned to clans, who so often welcome us into their number. No, it's it's more. It's because we are never truly alone. As you were never truly alone on your gliding, you went with Simone. Think for a moment. 
when I sat looking at some map or hiding from some uh, foul weather or trying to get over a sudden bout of very powerful homesickness, Simone gave a little hum that I could feel up through my leg. You have a very special bike smell. Not a lot of smell. As he returned, I sat on the tower and heard Simone's prayer grow to a roar, and then the traces of those who were has helped give her shape. She speaks with many voices now, and that resonance. Zizzo seems to shiver. That's why we do what we do. So if that appeals, then I can only recommend it. And thanks to the, for counsel. Hey, Saima. This is a, the uh, older sister, I believe. Uh. <laughs> I know this one was Claire. One hundred percent know this one was Claire. So, you've come back. Sima crosses her arms, a challenge. Tell Sima I had come back because when I left, some minuscule little beetle hunting, uh, part stealing menace threw a fit about it. Couldn't stop crying because she missed me so much. She nods. Yes, um, Jolly took it very hard. I can't help it. I laugh and I think in so doing, I let her win. I tell her I missed her. I missed you too, Sable. I'm happy you came back. Though I can practically see the pout beneath her mask, I'm impressed at how genuine she is able to sound. Even if, even if you don't end up staying long. Thinking of choosing the beetle mask, I asked what Saima would think if I chose the beetle mask. I think he looked pretty silly. silly. Uh, what? We can hear something brushing up against your microphone. Sorry about that. It's okay. Good, love that. Miss this. I uh, missed this one, definitely. I think, I think that it'd be a little like getting to play all the time, and have a lot of fun, or have, and have a lot of pets. 
Plus, maybe you get to speak beetle language. I always see beetles go up to each other and do dances and click around and hiss and everything. And maybe they're just saying things. So, so if you ever want to speak beetle, you could do that. He shrugs. I don't know, all masks are different, and they're not really going to matter since... Or, what matter once I'm on my gliding and get to come and visit you. Ask Saima if she means come and bother me. <laughs> if you're bothered, that's you, but I'm gonna come and visit. Can't help but laugh. I tell her I'm looking forward to it. Are you gonna cry if I leave again? Ask Sam if she's gonna cry again if I leave. We're giving Claire a workout tonight. Fuck you. Why? I don't think so, for two reasons. What? We're just giving your mouth a workout in a completely different way than what your sheets, the cheese does. Sheath. Cheese. Thank you for a second, girl. Shut. She counts them off on her fingers. One, because it's already happened once, so now I'm used to it. Two, because it's going to be my gliding, which I'm going to stay on forever, so I can just go on my bike and, ch and chase you down wherever I go. I tell Simon she can't stay on, glide on the gliding forever and that she'll have to choose a mask. Oh god damn it. Then I choose the mask of the bounty hunter. I say that isn't a real mask. Yes it is. I say it's not. He shrugs. Guess he didn't find it. I tell her no, it isn't real. And if it were real, I would have found it. Don't think so. It's really hard to find. The part two part of it is to become a bounty hunter. To become a hunter, you have to be a hunter. I ready my next response, but choose to hold my tongue lest I lose my maturity I gained on my gliding. I'm gonna make some broad gesture that I think is meant to emulate the knocking of an arrow and a bow. Good luck, Sable. <laughs> Alright, let me moisten my hole. <laughs> I knew the verb was gonna giggle! I need to I moisten to my throat because my... I'm about to do grandma. <laughs> I 
I am really tired right now, Kit. I can tell. But I need to be nice and moist before I try to do grandma. Give me a second. <laughs> God, stop. Just the I'm not stop getting him. nervous with this first. Hello. <laughs> Being back with the Abaxi is more comfortable than I expected. I think I, I, I think I thought the gliding would change every part of me. That I would come home different. Perhaps some, uh, perhaps more mature or more jaded, or at least able to grasp more of Driss's jokes or Halal's poetry. The actual change is more subtle, and it's that. Somehow, despite spending so much time discovering the world beyond, I never felt more like a part of this clan. It isn't about being a Vexi, or which mask I ultimately choose. It's simply that I no longer feel so behind them, or that they know some grown-up secret I didn't understand. I feel embarrassed, or embraced, fully as, a per as the person I am. Table. <clears throat> I need to wet my whole hair. Yeah, you wet that hole. Claire? <laughs> I will blem your face. So, Let me. now we've heard your story. Or at least the ones you're happy to tell. That means it's nearly time now. A sigh. Uh, Jenny's sigh is contented. I suspect that she was more concerned with my experience of the gli of the gliding of the grand choice at, the at its end. For that, I am grateful. Are you ready to choose? Am I? I should choose the Abaxi mask. I tell Jody that after everything, I'm thinking about choosing the Abaxi mask and staying with Clem. You would be welcome to stay with us. I know there's a lot of pressure to choose something else. So much that it, uh, that it sometimes feels boring to choose the very mask you started with. But all of us were gliders once. And certainly not all of us were sexy when we started. We're those who walk in plain hoofsteps and seek our freedom in the desert. We know movement, the flow of migration, the joy of changing skies and the shifting sands. We embrace difference and celebrate connection all at once. I'm proud to be a Bexie. And you may be too. I thank Jetty for putting it so nicely. She leans for, uh, leans in for a whisper. And if you aren't, you can still come visit. I won't tell. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm jetting, I'm ready to choose, and she nods. I won't keep you, Sable. If you know what you want, then all you all I desire is to learn what that is and celebrate it with you. I'm allowed to be excited too, aren't I? She chuckles. Whenever you're ready, proceed to the temple. I want to check something first real quick. 
There's a check nearby. Get on my lap. That sounded weird. Yes, it did. Hey, Simone. One last ride. I get the feeling that the Abaxi are terraformers. What do you mean by that? It's it's hard to explain. I know what terraforming is, but I just wonder what you mean by they are terraformers. Yes. Hold on. Cinematic. Last ride, and then into the temple we go. Guard mask. No. There's a few I didn't find. That's kind of the thing, though.
Okay, that's freaky. Where's the where's the cartographer mask though? I think that's me. I was wondering where it was. Why is this even a choice? Choose the chump mask. Really wish I could just vocalize what's going through my head right now. Really wish that wasn't a thing that when I start thinking like that, I just go fucking dead silent. All I can hear going through your head is just scre an organic screaming. No. Because that's a thing. Never really thought what this mask meant. But it's literally the mask of my character's family. I don't even know why this one's a choice! It's the choice of not choosing. Oh, you mean the worm mask? Yeah. Neither do I. Here's what I know about the sandworm mask. It was One, the last wearer died. Two, I found it in the reeking cave near the body of its maddened creator. Three, it appears to be made of flesh, and uh, the flesh of baby worms. Is this the mask I'd like to choose? Hell no. I can hear myself. Herb. The fact that it's still alive scares me. Maybe a few hundred years too late for the job. But on the plus side, I look really good in it. Still, probably not enough to turn into a whole calling. I really choose this mask. Do I want to choose the shade of Acria mask? Several that I just like, several that I didn't. <laughs> uh, 
that's the thing. For me, it boils down to just three. One of them technically isn't even a choice. It boils down to the Abexi mask or the Chum mask. Do I devote my life to my family, friends I made along the way? Wish I could wear both. Wish I could wear all of them. my life wandering around seeking out adorable chicks. All hail the tween. Or devote my life to my family. To the Minnesaki. The end of the stream at midnight, I'm guessing. Oh, there's the color. I was wondering where that was was hiding. That's the thing. I don't know. Because I mean, as interesting as it would be, just all hail the sh all hail the tween. It just seems like a finite thing, too, Kit. It does. Doesn't though? <gasps> Aki's birthday is in seven is in five minutes. Oh yeah, it is. So we've got devotion to something like money, something finite. The ability to explore wherever I please, but in a way that doesn't feel right. Devotion to some kind of mad divine. Devotion to creatures, whether they be big or small. Devotion to the unknown or the strange. 
devotion to the young. Devotion to the mechanical. I'm guessing this one would be devotion to the elderly. Climb above everything to dig in the dirt. Got to find and explore things. You know what? For me, it all comes back to Pebble. I'd be happy if staying here would be a backseat. Yeah. How can I go anywhere else when all I want is riding is freedom. A thousand little moments with a hundred different people. But it is also lonely. And travel is only good or is really only as good as the ones you travel with. I want to walk the path of the Abexi. I want to do it with Jun, with Driss. With Hilal, Sizo. I guess even Samai or Saima. It's easy to get used to a place, stop seeing the joy, or to imagine that you've been somehow passed in a life so boring it can't possibly be worth exploring further. But going into the world beyond made me better love the small one I have here. I will not just be Sable, I will be a Vexen. I will be proud. I think that's what I want. On the mask, be a Vexen. It's perfect. All I can say to that is, Aki, fuck you. That's the second time you've made me cry. 
Oh. What was the What was the first time? He fucking donated two or no three hundred and fifty fucking dollars to me to help me out when I needed it. Well, happy birthday, Aki. Happy birthday, Aki. And you know what? Since you have the day off, I'm assuming you got the day off since you did say you got your day switched out. Tell you what, I will let you know when I woke up, when I've gotten some food in my system. You let me, or I'll let you know when I'm up, when I'm ready. At which point, go ahead and go grab yourself a, uh, what's it called? A milkshake while I set up and we'll go through the marble nest. It's going to be an interesting fucking day tomorrow. And you know what? I am loving and hating all the more what I am seeing on the Discord because god damn it. Y'all have literally decided to throw me from one emotional turmoil to the next because we are going to be playing what I like to call PTSD Simulator 2029. <laughs> You're welcome, kid. What Fuck game? you, Claire. <laughs> you shouldn't have let me. You shouldn't have let me know what they were for. Hey, Kim, it I never wouldn't vote for matter even if you tra if you hadn't swayed the fucking vote. Understand, before you voted, every single one of our patrons. Had voted for that game, which means every oh, one of those was a doubled vote. It is a landslide victory for that game already. Jesus hey, fuck, kid. Monday's gonna be weird. I didn't know there was oh, a vote. Oh god. Up. Guess what I voted for. Anyways, folks, uh, if you enjoy the gameplay, the commentary, give us a like. If you want to keep up with this or any of our other content, subscribe and ring the bell. Become part of our notification squad so you can see when we upload when we go live. But for now, this is Kit the Soul Send Crew signing off. So until next time, everybody. Bye bye. Bye. Also, good night, Aki. Happy birthday. Good night, Johnson. Good night, Lewis. Uh, Good night night say good morning, everybody. Volk, and to anybody else who might still be here, and good night, Douglas. Good night, I don't Claire. Like Call me Yuki, please. Oh, sorry. I do remember I got used to calling you one thing over the first two years of knowing you. <laughs> oh, by the way, Kit, I have to ask you for a favor tomorrow. What's up? Since I'm since I won't I'm not working this weekend. I want to turn off my weekend alarm so I don't wake up at four thirty. Okay. Could you remind me? To, could you remind me to turn them back on on Sunday? Okay. Thank you. Anyways, ta ta everybody. Mlem.